Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Capsule to Cone. I'm Matt McQueen and today I want to talk to you about recording acoustic guitars. And I want to go over the process that I use every time that I record acoustic guitars because I use a particular piece of hardware to record them that they don't make in plug-in format. Out of all the vintage pieces of equipment, 1176s, LA-2As, Poltex, Fairchilds, all the things that we have in plug-in format that sound really, really great. It really surprises me that nobody is making a Spectrasonics C610 complimenter because it does something really, really great to acoustic guitars that I don't think anything else does. The first thing that it does is it has a peak limiter that is ultra, ultra fast, 100 nanoseconds. It's the fastest peak limiter that you can get in analog format. Pete Lyman, mastering engineer, talks about how it changed the way that he masters music because he's able to attack those transients as they're coming through that could cause problems down the line in the mastering chain. Dave Cobb, Nashville producer, also says the Spectrasonics 610 complimenter is the ultimate compressor of all time. So, I have one of these. I love to use it on acoustic guitar, and so I have my friend Trevor here, and we are going to record just some strummy acoustic guitars, and I'm gonna demonstrate how this compressor works. So, first things first, I've got an AKG C414 EB, and that is running into this 7th Circle Audio N72. This is like a, a Neve-style clone, and so Trev, I want you to go ahead and just play for me, and I'm gonna bring this mic pre up a little bit and we're gonna get some gain on it. So go ahead and start playing. And I'm gonna go ahead and patch in the, uh, the 610, so. All right, so now we've got the 610 in the chain. Make sure that I'm framed up good down there. Okay, I am. And what's really cool about this thing is that you've got a fixed threshold. So it's sort of like how on 1176, you roll the input gain up and that is going to hit the threshold point and that's when it's where it's going to start compressing. But what you could do is with this slope control, you can set it so that it's only doing peak limiting and no compressing. And how you know that the unit is doing that is that this little indicator light will be flashing, but you won't see the needle moving with gain reduction. Or you can set it so that you're getting a little bit of peak limiting and some gain reduction. What I like to do when I'm recording acoustic guitars with this is I like to set it so that I'm getting only about a dB of gain reduction so the needle is just barely moving and not moving all the time and the light is just flickering and it just sort of levels the acoustic guitar in a really pleasing way without sounding over compressed. So Trevor, I'm gonna go ahead and have you play and I'm just gonna turn the knobs while you're playing. Go ahead and stop for me for a second, Trevor. So this is exactly how I like to set it. It's getting us just a little bit of gain reduction, not even a full dB, but really shaving those transients off. And it sounds compressed, but it also just sits really, really nicely in a big rock or country mix where there's lots of other guitars. This acoustic guitar can become sort of percussive. It sounds really good doubled with this setting and it just, 
it sets really nice and evenly and you don't get the thing where the acoustic guitar is poking out all over the place and you're hearing more of the transient than you are the sustain. This one just really kind of fills up the mix nicely and it just sounds finished. That's the biggest thing that I like about it is that this one little compression move while tracking sort of makes the acoustic guitar just finished and with a touch of EQ once you're mixing it you can get it to sit in the mix really nicely. So I hope this was really really helpful for you guys and I hope that you found it interesting. I love this compressor. I don't know why nobody makes a plug-in version of it but they should. So Slate UAD somebody please make a plug-in version of this compressor. It's really awesome and we need it. Till next time see you guys.